are a number of travel options for UTS students to consider when heading home from university. Bus, train, Uber, which is the best option? And how do we communicate this information to students? How might we use Sydney Transport data to better inform UTS students of the cheapest travel options when leaving the city in order to help them save money? My name's Tom Gallagher and I'm here to propose a solution that will allow UTS students to save money when it comes to travel. In 2017, Universities Australia conducted a survey on student finances and found that of students who received financial support, 51% felt their finances were a source of worry and 10% go without food or necessities. Of students who did consider themselves to be financially independent, 63% felt their finances were a source of worry and 19% regularly went without food and necessities. The survey especially shows the worries of travel expenditure for students. Around 50% of both undergraduate students and postgraduate students had problems with the cost of travel in attending classes. To better understand this problem and develop a solution, I utilised the design thinking process presented during classes, which can be seen here. A survey with my data engineering design classmates was taken as part of the empathise step, which allowed me to understand if and how some of my classmates were keeping track of their spending. A potential solution of better informing UTS students of the cheapest ways to travel are custom designed kiosks that would be situated at the front entrance of each UTS building. These kiosks would calculate the cheapest option for the student once they have entered their destination. To create such a solution, we can divide UTS students into two categories, those who drive to uni or live on campus and those who use public transport. To cheapen travel for students who drive to and from UTS, we can inform them of the cheapest fuel station on the route they are taking. Although the New South Wales government has created a fuel price API and their own fuel check application, this app is not able to find all fuel stations along a particular route and only finds fuel prices within a specified radius. The Kiosk solution would combine the Fuel API with the Google Maps API to find the cheapest fuel station along the route that the student will be taking. I defined UTS students using public transport to have three options, bus, train or Uber. Transport New South Wales have information regarding the Opal card fares for travelling a certain distance, which would be used alongside the Google Maps API to calculate the cost of the trip. Uber also has an API that allows users to access price estimates of a trip. The Kiosk would integrate all these parts to calculate and display the cheapest option on the screen, explaining the travel route the student would need to take. From the classmates who responded to the student budgeting survey, when asked how likely would you be to use an app to help budget your money, no one answered with likely or very likely. This is the reason a kiosk solution was designed rather than a phone app, as it means students don't need to download anything to use it. The expected results of this are an ease of worry for one aspect of student finance. This will in turn encourage students to manage their money in other parts of their life and ultimately help UTS students focus more on their studies without the stress of income weighing them down. In summary, finance is a large part of student stress and this solution gives students an easy to access method of reducing their travel expenditures, which would improve student financial worries and encourage students to budget other aspects of their spending.